What is going on, guys? This is Random Topics with Huber here today. Uh, and today, uh, we are going to be reviewing uh, Sea, uh, Seagate's Xbox One uh, 8 Tetrabyte Game Hub, or game, uh, or basically like external storage, basically like external storage device. So, anyways, guys, let's get to it. We're going to unbox this. We're going to try it out, do everything. So, here's what it looks like in the box. I got it from Best Buy, ordered it straight uh, to where I live so you see right here yes it looks pretty nice game hub uh, game drive hub for Xbox and um, yes it does have a limited a uh, year limited warranty so that's always nice anyways let's open this up and um, Let's see what this, let's see how good, uh, let's see how good uh, this thing is. Okay. Let's hope I can open it first. I'm trying to find out an easy way to open it without having to get, uh, I'll be right back. Forget what I said. I will be right back. I apologize. And I also apologize, uh, I also apologize for the camera falling down again. I do not have a great camera setup right now. I will be soon getting a, a better setup, so that's good. And uh, anyways, let's open this. Let's see how good this is. Let's get right to the point. If you guys want, you can fast forward a bit. If you guys just care about the review, if you guys want to see me unbox this, stay right now. The cool thing about YouTube technology, you can do whatever you want. It's really cool. There's so many features and all that. So, YouTube's like one of the best inventions ever, I think. But, um, anyways, that's just a talk to get us started with this 8 tetrabyte uh, Xbox One uh, external uh, storage device. Okay, guys, so got it out of here. Here's what it looks like. Okay, let's get this open. Okay. So we have this right here. Comes in some rough packaging. So it doesn't, so it doesn't get messed up. Okay, so it came with a book like this. Came with a book like that. Came with this. Let's see what else. And then it has, there's this big thing right here. This looks like what it is we're going to be reviewing. I know reviews are great. I looked up a lot of reviews before I spent $100. It's a lot of money. Okay, let's see. There's also this. I'm not sure what this is. If I can get this open. Looks like uh, there's a lot of plugs here. There's one plug right there, another plug. A lot of different plugs. That's one plug, another plug, a third plug. We've had a fourth. Yep, we have a fourth there. So we have four plugs so far. Let's see if I can knock out any other plugs before I get to the other stuff that's in this other little brown uh, container package. We have one more and another plug. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. This is this is our this is our sixth plug. This is our sixth plug. So, um, anyways, we have our six plugs right there. Then we have another plug right here. This looks like the main plug. Another one inside that. It looks like. Yep. I'm not sure why there's all those these plugs that came with it, but. Anyways, guys, okay, so now we have our wire right here. This looks like the USB. The USB right there. It's gonna that we're gonna be connecting to the Xbox. So, anyways, we have all this. We don't want to mess anything up. So let's just read this. The manual, it looks like that we got when we first opened this thing. So as we see, I will show you guys very briefly before I talk about it. So it's easier for you guys to 
seeing all that. I'm just giving you guys the full product review. That's what's so cool about this. Can show you guys how it comes with, uh, what it looks like, and all that. So you guys can see, if, you know, if you want to spend your money on this. Anyways, okay. So um, step one is we want to put that uh, cable into the wire. Looks like then um, put then put the wire in and put the wire into uh, the Seagate. Um, storage and then uh, plug the thing plug the uh, that in okay I see how it works and then you want to plug that into the Xbox okay so it's uh, it's one of those not really tricky things but um, I'm gonna try to get uh, some more light so you guys can see a bit better I will be right back Okay, I hope that's better. Uh, we will try to get this done now. So down here I have my Xbox. I have a nice setup. I have a speaker right there, but anyways, let's get to it. First, let's turn this on. Turn our controller on. Turn on the TV. Um, this is a tricky uh, unboxing and review video, I know that. Anyways, let's get this started. Let's see how good this is. So yes, we have our um, drive right. We have our drive right here. So here's what it looks like. It has an Xbox logo. I like that. It's made specifically for Xbox. You want stuff like that. There's a couple USB ports right there. Uh, on the side, we have the main plug and another plug. And okay, so let's get started. And here's these plugs. And I'm not sure what the eight, I don't know why they gave us eight of these freaking things. I don't know why they gave us eight of those, but anyways, guys, um, let's get to it. Let me look at this manual again, see how exactly it's set up. So both, uh, Okay, that's an extra USB for a controller, it looks like. There's the hub, then there's that. End game. Why does it say there's another... Uh... I don't get that. Anyways, okay, so let's get... Let me double check the box. Make sure we didn't forget anything. Never mind, okay. Um... Okay, yeah, we're fine on that part. We're fine on that part, but um, not on that camera falling down. Though. I'll tell you guys that right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, anyways, let's continue. So I'm going to get this hooked up. I already told you guys how to get it hooked up. If you guys were listening, not really a big deal. Um, looks like we need uh, that wire to go... Thing open. Okay, here's what it, we got like eight of these things. I have no clue why. I'm not sure what they are either. They look like plugs though, so, anyways, doesn't really matter. Set to slide this thing in. Here's one of those plug things. We're gonna slide it into this receiver right here. Okay, we slided that in right there. It's all locked and loaded. Let's untangle this. So this thing looks like it's going to be connecting to to the hub. So um, I'm gonna plug this into an outlet, get it connected to the hub so we have that nice and knocked out. Or to the receiver, excuse me. Okay, actually, why is, is it not going to let me? Or we need a different. Uh, Need a different thing to plug in because this thing right here is not going to work. Get something like uh, won't work. 
guess that's what these things are for. These little plugs. Never thought about that. I guess there's different types of things you can get. Okay, there we go. We have this right there. See if this works. That looks like it works. Hoping it works okay. There's a lot of other plugs in case it doesn't. So anyways, we have that plugged into a receiver. We're gonna plug it now into, we're gonna plug it now into this. So this is gonna go right here. So that's in there, that's in there. Um, okay, so we have that plugged up. Now the next thing we need to do is um, plug in this other cord. Just should be right down here. Maybe it's up here. Up oh, here it is. We want this. We want this plugged into um, plugged into here. It's the unique looking thing. Okay, so we have that plugged in. And we're going to plug this USB, it looks like, into... Looks like we're going to have that plugged into the Xbox. Perfect, there's a USB cable. The Xbox. So we just plugged it into the Xbox. I think it should be working. There we go. It turned on. So we see this. We see this right here. We see this. So that looks like the sign that it's turning on. And guess what just showed up on my Xbox? Use for media or for games and apps. If you choose to buy this external storage for media, music, videos, and pictures, you'll keep any content that's currently on uh, the drive. You, if you choose to use it for games and apps, the drive needs to be formatted. Everything on the drive will be erased. So we're going to use this for game and apps. So let's, uh, let's just go over to, uh, see as we see here, external 7.2 tetrabytes free. As there's, uh, I think already a lot of stuff used up on my Xbox. So that must be why it's not eight tetrabytes on there now, which is a bit weird, but give your device a name, external. Okay, external's fine with me. Well, let's give it um, E H D for ex for external hard drive. Okay, so we have that right there. Install things on E H D by default. If you make the E H D the place to install new games and apps, we'll use that from now on. Uh, you can change this anytime. And yep. Okay, so install new things here. I'm fine with that. When formatting is done, you'll be able to use the games and apps on the external hard drive with any Xbox One you plug it into. It will be uh, usable only with Xbox One consoles. So that's basically, um, that's cool right there. I'm not. I'm just not sure if it's. It's very cool right there. I'm just not sure. I'm not sure if it's. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's. You know, if it's, I have to do anything now or. Yeah, but. Um, I guess it's formatting, but I'm going to see format storage device, click on that, I'm not sure if, uh, okay, look, external storage ready, hold to launch, okay, as we see at the bottom, it says 7.2 tetrabytes free, and games, apps, I want to see if, um, I want to, I'm still not sure on how to use this thing, to be honest, guys. To be honest, I'm, to be honest, I'm still not sure, I'm still not sure how to use this thing. But anyways, guys, hold on. Let's go to, go back to system storage. 
So I used uh, internal, okay, it's 7.2 tetrabytes. I'm not sure if it says 8 on the Seagate, but anyway, so uh, yeah, I used, that's what I used of my Xbox right there, and this is what I have free, so I plan to download a lot more games, but um, anyways, guys, um, that pretty much, pretty much wraps this up. I, I mean, I'll figure out how to use this. This is not really like a setup video. Just wanted to kind of give you guys a brief unboxing, small setup, and a review on this. So it's 7.2 tetrabytes to be exact. Uh, let's see if it said 8. I think it said 8. So I don't like how it just, how it said that. Yep, it said 8 tetrabytes, but apparently it's only 7.2. So I don't like how it said that. It should have said 7.2 tetrabytes. Just, it should have been completely honest with us. And it, but, um, I mean, on that aspect, it's, you know, um, you know, it, it, it's a small, it's going to be a small uh, takeaway on my review, but uh, overall, guys, this, I don't think this is a bad device to get. I mean, so to get right to the point, it's 7.2 tetrabytes. It's hard to find, uh, you know, I've heard, I heard one guy had like 15 tetrabytes, but it's really hard to find stuff like that, that I know works for Xbox One, that I know works for other Xbox Ones, but um, this is not a bad storage device. I like this a lot. It's Seagate. You know, it works fine. Uh, I haven't, you know, I looked up the reviews, and this one's pretty good. It's one of the best in 2019. But, I mean, it, you guys could be watching this in 2020 for all I know. So, um, overall, yes, I would probably get this if you're looking for a, a storage device because it can hold up to a lot of storage. You never know how much these games can use. You don't want to have to buy another device, and it's flip-flop, and it's all messy. So, I'd get something big like this. 7.2 tetrabytes should be enough for any of, you, any of you guys watching, even hardcore gamers, should be enough. But overall, guys, that is pretty much it. It's all set up. And, uh, yes, I'd have to give this an 8.8 uh, 8 .8 out of 10, which is actually, I'll give it an 8.7 because it's only 7.2 tetrabytes. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot of other stuff I factored in. So that's my official review of this. I'm a hardcore gamer. I know gaming stuff. And so you can rely on my word. But, yes, 8.7 uh, 8 out of 10. That pretty much wraps it up, guys. I hope you guys all found this helpful. Good luck with uh, your storage device or if you, what, whatever you guys are going to get. Have a great one. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time.